Hi everybody, in this video I will explain how to amend commits in Git using live animations of what's going on under the hood while I'm issuing those actual commands. I'll talk to you about the top two reasons why you want to use amend and one really important caveat to keep in mind before you actually implement it in your projects. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Amending commits is a method of rewriting Git history and is actually a flag on the git commit command you're probably already familiar of. So you're going to see me use git commit dash dash amend many times throughout this video. The main idea of amending is that it gives you a way to modify your most recent commit, either by changing that commit's message or adding files to that commit that you may have forgotten to add originally. The workflow is pretty straightforward, so let's move on and get to an actual example with real commands. Let me quickly run git log dash dash one line here so you can see what my git tree actually looks like at the moment. As you can see, I have a master branch and I've split off to work on a feature branch that I've called my branch. On my branch, I have two commits. Now this all looks really good, but if I run git stat, as you can see, I have two unstaged files, aboutme.css and profilepic.jpg. And I've forgotten to include those in the last about me page commit. To fix this, I could run git reset head, and you've probably done that before, and that undoes the last commit which would allow me to restage all of those files, including the ones that I missed and commit again. But that's a lot of steps and a lot of stuff to remember. So let's use amend for this instead. To get started with amend, I'm going to stage the files like I normally do using git add. So I'll run git add and I'll add that about me.css and that JPEG. After I've done this, I can run git status. You can see that I've staged those files and they're ready to go. For the actual amend command, I'm gonna tell git that I wanna take those two staged files and I wanna stuff them into that previous commit. And I'll do that by running git commit dash dash amend. And I'll also add the dash dash no edit flag as well to tell git that I don't wanna also edit the previous commit message. I'll just leave that commit message what it was. When I run this, git will combine those two files into that previous commit without adding any extra commits to our branch. One thing to note is that amend is actually rewriting that commit entirely and replacing it with a whole new commit entity and reference. And you can see that if I compare the commit hashes before and after running amend, they are different. What this means is that there's one big important thing to know about amend, and that's that you shouldn't amend public commits. In other words, amend is fine to use on your own development branches or on commits that haven't yet made it into a public or shared repository. But as soon as others are basing your work off of commits that are already public, you don't wanna use amend because it's gonna replace and rewrite all those references and that ends up creating confusing situations. Now, by the way, if you wanted to use amend to simply edit a commit message and not add any files, you can run git commit dash dash amend dash m and specify a new commit message. Now, if there are no staged files in your staging area when you do this, all Git will do is update the previous commit's message. Now, keep in mind that this amend is also destructive. So even if you're just changing the message, it's also going to rewrite and replace that commit with an entirely new reference. But what if you wanted to alter older commits, not just the most recent? If you wanna learn about those, click on the playlist that just popped up on your screen. I've got dedicated videos on all of those topics. And if you prefer a written reference of anything we talked about in this video, I also have a blog article linked in the description that you can go ahead and check out. As for me, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.